This is Jewel Press. DualFast has many awesome features. This is just what you need to get started. So first, we will be talking about the DualFast imagery. There are two main types of imagery. SR stands for super resolution, is totally free, a few ads, and is not as detailed as the HD imagery. The HD imagery has no ads, costs about 12 bucks, and is very detailed. For this video, we will be using HD. You can type GEO-FS and push fly. First thing you need to know is about options. It is the three lines in the bottom left corner of the screen. First, we will be talking about controls. You will have orientation, which is like you hold the device and tilt it. You can turn off mixed royal to show a rudder thing. It's on the throttle. In the bottom right corner of the screen, you will see a little circle with a dot in the middle. You can push that to calibrate your controls. Then you have mouse, keyboard, which is the arrow keys. Touch stick is a touch stick. The plus and minus buttons are trim and you can also do a joystick. If you're on a mobile device, the joystick option will be gamepad. The next thing we'll be talking about is environment. You can turn off and on set environment manually and when you turn that off it will be real-time weather and when you turn it on you will have weather quality and when you push advanced it will have like your wind and stuff. The next thing we will be talking about is the location. You can get to this by pushing the location button. You will have gliding wingsuit. There's a wingsuit. You have special approaches, which is approaches to airports. There's an aircraft carrier in there. And then you have on runway. And then you also have nature and landscapes and landmarks. There's like the Statue of Liberty, Eiffel Tower, etc. You can type in ICAO codes, coordinates, names of cities, everything. Some aircraft have interactive clickable cockpits. Not all buttons are clickable, so don't be surprised if it's only the throttle mixture and flaps and spoilers. <laughs> In aircraft, you will see a little liveries thing. It has paint jobs. Only Fest official aircraft, not all of them have this, but some do. The next thing we will be talking about is camera. GeoFest has many cam reviews. The first one is a follow cam. It follows and you can look around. Then there's cockpit. There's cockpit less cam, which you're in the cockpit, but there's no cockpit. Then there is chase cam, which stays in the same spot, but always looks towards you. Free cam, you can go and move and it just goes wherever you want. And when you push the tab key, when you're in free cam, it will teleport you to that position. And some aircraft in the top has extra views. You have to hold that down and push another one and in the bottom there is reset camera it will go to follow cam the next thing we will be talking about is the nav panel once you push it about half of the screen will be covered in nav panel which is a map you will see the multiplayer people if you have multiplayer the smaller clearer ones are the adsb the yellow one is you in the bottom left corner you can turn on show path show path draws a line where you went and recenter in the top left corner is flight plan view we will make a video about that in the future you can tap on the runways to do an approach flyover or landing. There are some buttons on the bottom of the screen that are very important. First is pause. Next is mute, unmute audio. Then cycle the UI visibility. This will cycle your instruments and your throttle visibility. Next is reset your flight and that will start you over where you GPS fix or type in location. Then there is replay. You can see the last 10 hours of your flight and you can exit player. Exit player gets you out of the replay mode wherever the replay was. Thanks for watching. See you next time.